Now what this is, your boy DL47 recounting as much rugby league information as possible. Right now, we've got the 2006 round 26 game in Australian Rugby League. Canberra Raiders beating Cronulla Sharks 26-24. And if you don't want to miss out any important rugby league information, you need to watch this video all the way to the end. And I promise it won't go for more than five minutes. I won't keep you too long. So, the point of this video series is we're trying to find games, doesn't matter what year they were played, which teams played each other, games where all the points were scored down at one end of the field, meaning one team scored all their points in the first half and the other team scored all their points in the second half. Obviously, minimum 10 points scored in the game just to make the, this group um, a harder group of games to, to like, join the club, join the class, so to speak. There have been other games with one score in the game only, so obviously all the points are down the one end, but it needs to be at least 10 points just to make it, um, just to make it a bit harder. The 1924 grand final, Bellarmine beats South 3-0. One try only, tries used to be three points at the time. Obviously, all the points were at one end because there was one score. There was a 1973 game when Newtown beat St George 1-0 with a Ken Wilson field goal. 1995 State of Origin game one, Queensland won 2-0 with a Wayne Barr from penalty goal. And the 2013 qualifying final, Roosters beat Manly 4-0 in an all-time classic game. Roger to advise the Czech scoring the only try in that one. 1992 preliminary final, St George beat Illawarra Steelers 4-0, Ricky Walford getting the only try in that one. So, obviously, those games have got all the points at the one end, but at least 10 points in the game. This one here, Canberra 26 for 24 absolutely ridiculous the way it, um, the way it ended. Canberra had led 26-0 at half-time, after two tries to Todd Carney, one to Alan Tung, and one to Simon Walford. Clint Javoski with five goals from five attempts, that was their 26 points, but they didn't score again. So Cronulla's 24 points in the second half, obviously, all down the... Down the same end that Canberra were running in the first half. Cronulla's 24 points, a try by Ben Pomeroy, a try by Brett Kearney, two tries by Luke Cavell, and Luke Cavell converting all four of those tries to make um, the 24 points for Sharks. Believe this though, a player, a goal kicker of Luke Cavell's quality, had a penalty goal attempt from next to the post, not right in front, but next to the post, just to the left. On the full-time siren to make it 26 all and set it in the golden point, and he missed, believe it or not. Goal kicker as good as Luke Cavell missed the penalty goal, sent it in the golden point. From next to the post, he kicked it all the way across the face of the post and didn't get it. So, And that just happened to be Sharks' 10th, 10th straight loss, unfortunately. So a bitterly disappointing finish to the season for them. After early in 2006, Sharks had actually found themselves in the top four of the competition after round 16, and then they lost the last 10 straight games to bomb out of finals contention like that. So there you go. This game right here, 2006, round 26, Canberra 26, Cronulla 24, all those 50 points down one end of the field. If anyone out there knows any other games where we've had all the points down one end of the field, please drop those in the comments, and I'll get around to them when I can, make a video for that when I can, recounting as much rugby league information as possible in this building, handling that business all day. It is still watching right to the very end. Thank you very much for the continued ongoing support. Scroll for this channel to find tons of other rugby league information. Do a 47.